You see, there is something about the cross that even we as Christians find unpalatable. And as a result, I suggest to you that certain things have happened in the church, and I'm speaking as much to myself as to any other person. There are things that are happening and have happened for many years in the church as a result of this mindset among many believers. I want Jesus, but not the cross. After all, Peter's attitude was, Jesus, you are doing a good work. You're healing the sick. You know, we're following you. And Peter says, it's not easy. I've given up the fish, but boy, am I excited being with Jesus. It must have been wonderful. He didn't mind missing, missing the fish much more. I mean, he's following this man who's raising the dead. He's following this man who's healing the sick. It's, I mean, if you're in an environment where the supernatural is happening every day, you want to be at that every day. You don't want to go back to secular work. It's nothing. Peter has become, after a short time earlier, being the mouthpiece of God to declare Jesus the Messiah in a relatively short period. He is now the mouthpiece of Satan, and he's a believer. And we all do well to remember as Christians, and I'll freely confess it, I'm sure there are times in my life when I was the voice or the mouthpiece of God speaking, and I'm sure there were times in my life and I'll find out at the judgment seat when I spoke and I was the mouthpiece of Satan. And you see, if you don't believe that, then it's more likely that Satan will use your mouth the more. 